Much to our surprise, it was wide open and right back in business. We were there as NYPD officers showed up to once again shut down the Zaza Waza smoke shop, which was padlocked by the city Wednesday. The one employee working inside was not arrested, but was told to close shop. After pulling down both gates, she locked up. More on that lock in a moment, but first, Councilwoman Gail Brewer, who called the cops Thursday morning and has been fighting for nearly two years to get this illegal smoke shop shut down. The enforcement officers are on their way here right now to put an even bigger lock because it was broken last night. She says the shop was supposed to stay closed until paying $225,000 in fines for selling tobacco illegally, but has been busted for illegal marijuana in the past as well. The councilwoman says at this point, until state law changes, city officials actually have to mainly use tobacco regulation to seize illegal goods, including cannabis, and can only temporarily shut down shops. We need a different kind of law to be here in the city of New York. But even on the rare occasion, the city is able to order one of the thousands of illegal smoke shops closed, nothing comes easy. Can you favor, hold this up? We watched as two enforcement officers yeah. tried repeatedly with giant bolt cutters to take down the store's own padlocks. They failed. Eventually, police showed up with a sawzall to cut both locks. Then the city added its own padlock and sign saying the shop is shut down. Neighboring businesses say they're glad some action is finally being taken, at least for now. The smoke and all smells to my, my store. So what are the chances the law changes in Albany and makes enforcement actions like this one a lot less difficult? Well, there's momentum. The mayor and governor both agree it should be done. In fact, many leading lawmakers agree it should be done, but they've agreed for some time, at least a year, year and a half now, and nothing has changed. So we'll see if something happens this time.